God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Thursday, September 15th. Today's devotional is based on Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 15 to 20. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what it, the will of God is. Do not get drunk with wine, for it is debauchery, but it be filled with the Spirit. As you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to, the God, to God the Father at all times, and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Jamie Clark Souls. Living Christianly does not come naturally. Its features require discernment and wisdom because Christians live in a rule, world ruled by Satan and powers and principalities, all of which constantly aim to trip us up, if not fell us. Since the author commands the reader to understand God's will, it follows that God's will is discernible. Traditionally, it is the role of Lady Wisdom to reveal God's will to human beings. Proverbs 8 exemplifies her destiny. She co-creates the world with God. She offers human beings wisdom. Some accept it and thrive. Others refuse her offer with calamitous effects. Christian wisdom is tricky business, however, because it is counterintuitive. Paul already noted this eloquently in 1 Corinthians 1, 18-25. God's wisdom appears foolish to human beings, but it is the world's so-called wisdom that turns out to be moronic. According to Ephesians, we are susceptible to powers that cloud our vision and deceive us into thinking wrongly. Life in a well-defined Christian community, regular worship, training in church's traditions, and the indwelling of the Spirit bulwark the church against such forces and train her in the ways of Lady Wisdom. And we're left with this to ponder. How have your experiences in a faith community contributed to your formation as a Christian? What recent experience stands out for you as an example of the foolishness of God's wisdom? Let us pray. I pray that the melody of my life offers praise and thanks to you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow as we close out the week. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That wherever you go, whatever you do, the message you always share is that love is love. God bless. <laughs>